Hi friends, how are ya? Welcome back to my channel for quite possibly the most meaningful haul that I have ever done. And I have been looking forward to this video for weeks and it's finally here and I'm so pumped because today we are doing a haul from one of my new favorite brands ever, which is Able. And I am partnering with them on this video to show you some of their new fall pieces and everything is beyond stunning. And I'm just so in love with this brand, genuinely. 100% in love. A perk to me partnering with them is I have an amazing promo code for y'all. Tell you up front just so you can have that in your back pocket if you need it. It's Mikkel20 for 20% off your order. And this brand has so many good things to shop for yourself, but also I was thinking with Christmas around the corner, they have the best jewelry and shoes and leather goods and they could just make great gifts too. So keep that in mind. And I'm just so excited. So what I'm going to be doing for this video is a little bit different. I'm going to do it by categories. So like starting with shoes and accessories, then moving into tops, then moving into dresses and jumpsuits, finishing with pants and maybe something really comfy cozy. And then I'm going to have those categories as timestamps down below in case there's like a specific thing you're looking for my opinions on or just want to see how it fits. Hopefully it should be easier for you to navigate. But Quickly, can I just tell you how amazing this brand is before we get into the details? Because I <laughs> I discovered them earlier this year and I've just absolutely become obsessed with everything that they stand for and their pieces. This is one of my favorite Able pieces that I got earlier this year. They are a woman-run fashion brand. In fact, 95% of their employees are women and their main mission, they have a lot of really cool missions, but their main mission is to employ women, employ vulnerable women, and then also supply living wages. They have this page on their website that I was going through that is just so transparent and amazing where they publish their lowest wages for each country that they have employees and tell you which, what percent of their employees have um, a living wage. So for example, right now I'm looking at their jewelry studio, in Nashville, Tennessee, their lowest published wage as of 2017 was $14 an hour and a hundred percent of those employees are above a living wage and they break down how living wages are calculated and it's just super cool. They also have really amazing sustainability standards and goals and they have a whole page on their website about that that I will link down below if you want to read about. But for example, right now, all of their mailers are recyclable. They repurpose shipping boxes and they are aiming to be 100% recyclable by 2022. They have really cool sustainable and safe methods for their leather that I'll link that down below as well. And their jewelry is so intentional. A lot of their sterling silver is recycled. And not to mention the quality of the pieces is so above and beyond. <laughs> So many things that I have seen. So to me, if you are just looking to be really intentional about your clothes, if that's something that you're into, or if you're looking to invest in some pieces that you know are going to do good and hold up and have a long lifespan, then this is 100% my favorite company that I've found that like check all of those boxes. But I am like going above and beyond with geeking out over them. So I'm going to stop now. I just wanted to explain why I love them because this is my first haul with them and I have been praying to work with them for a long time. So that's why I love them. Um, but I know you're here to see the clothes, see the new pieces, see how they fit. So let's get into it. First category, let's go through a couple accessories, shoes. They have the best shoes and the best leather. Actually, this is not part of the video, but if you've been around on my channel, you've heard me geek out about my leather backpack so many times. It's always just on the floor back here because I take it with me everywhere. This is from Abel and I love it so much. I will link this down below as well, even though it's not technically part of the video, whatever. I wanted to show you this crossbody bag. This is the Emmett foldover crossbody bag and it is stunning. It has first off a pocket on the back and you can see Abel within the leather. But the thing that I think makes it so cool is you open it up and yes, of course, there's like a main body pocket like most bags, but this whole fold over part is another pocket. Like it's deep, it's huge. It's almost like you can put paperwork in here and use this to, to keep paperwork safe. <laughs> Thinking back to my college days, that would have come handy, but absolutely stunning. Love it. Love the smell of quality leather. Mm, it's delicious. I have been on the hunt for the perfect fall winter boot 
They have so many cute boots. It's like, it makes it too easy to find a cute one, but I love this one. This is the amber boot and it comes in black or like a camel color, but I thought that this was perfect. I've been so into pointy toes lately. I love the length of this heel. It's like a powerful heel, but not too scary to walk in. And just the utmost quality. The seam along the side, I think, is very sleek. This is gonna be perfect to wear with more relaxed jeans or even with your dresses if you're going out. Like, this can very much be styled up or styled down. Just the perfect boot. Like, you really only need one perfect boot to get through <laughs> this season. And I just think it's oh, gorgeous. And if I was creating like the perfect fall capsule wardrobe, besides like working out, I would have those boots and one perfect casual little tinny. These are the Nera sneaker. These just have like cool girl vibes, you know? <laughs> I'm in love with this, that you can also wear this with a super casual outfit. You can even wear this with leggings, denim, dresses, like anything and everything will go with this. One sizing note I do wanna give y'all is they say that this runs a little bit small. So to size up a half a size, I'm normally a seven. This is a seven and a half, but mm, the mix of materials on this, stunning. I'm in love, I'm in love. I'm in love and I don't care who knows it. <laughs> okay, let's get into tops and knits and sweaters. Honestly, probably one of my favorite categories. And I wanted to start with this one shirt. I actually already own this shirt, but from what I can gather, this seems to kind of be everybody's favorite, <laughs> which it is so cute and so perfect for layering on all seasons. This is the Gloria Graphic Tee. It is the most comfortable relaxed t-shirt with these like rolled and stitched sleeves. But I love the graphic on this one. It's like a little bit retro, a little bit edgy, but the shirt itself is so sweet. It's like the perfect tee. It truly is. Looks great, completely untucked with like looser fitted pants. Looks great French tucked or fully tucked with more relaxed jeans. Stunning, I'll show you how it fits. I wanted to show you this shirt both untucked and tucked. So here it is, untucked. Oh my word, the material's just so soft and flattering. And then, how I love to style shirts. Well, first, a French tuck and a full tuck. I love it so much. Like I said, I already have this one. This has been a favorite in my wardrobe. I'm sure you've seen it in some vlogs. I love the little tiger guys. I think that they are adorable. And then the rolled sleeves is the perfect touch. It's a good one. It's a good one. Okay, I, oh. This shirt, this shirt is so me. This is the Cher Patch Pocket shirt. And this is one of those very like structured but still feminine button down long sleeve shirts. I love this like olive army green color. The material feels very flexible but still has like really nice structure to it. And I love the pockets. Like look at the little extra details. Do you see this pocket? It's the pocket and then has like the little like pin separate stitch here. The reason I love shirts like this is because you can wear them buttoned, you can wear them unbuttoned, you can wear them down, you can wear them tucked. There's so many different ways to style one of these shirts that it's like the opportunities are endless. Let's try it on. <laughs> I love this top. So yet again, wanted to show you how it looks a French tucked with the sleeves down. Personally, with shirts like this, I always love to cuff the sleeves a few times. So this is for sure how I would wear it and style it. French tucked, rolled sleeves. Classic Mikkel way. <laughs> and then here is the length of it when it is untucked. Could also be so cute belted with some more tight fitting jeans. And I just I love the neckline and the detailing on this. I think it's so flattering. This, oh, I literally want to say for all of these, this is so me because it really is. But this is the Irene cardigan. This comes in a couple colors. A lot of the knits actually come in multiple colors. So if you're interested in any of these, recommend checking it out. This comes in black and like a sand peachy color, which is also stunning. But this is like a sweater cardigan. There's buttons down the front. There's a nice V-neck. You can wear this buttoned up or you can wear this unbuttoned and kind of do a layering type moment. But the, the knit of this feels so nice, like a very quality, thick, warm knit. And then I love the neckline. I know it's hard to tell with black. I just gotta show you how it fits. Let me just show you how it fits. 
this is truly the perfect cropped cardigan. Like the way it fits high-waisted jeans just kind of like kisses the hem. I think gives a really flattering hourglass figure. And then look, I love the shape of these sleeves. There's a very slight balloon sleeve shape which I've always loved. I think it's just flirty and fun. <laughs> and then I think that the v-neck of this is perfect too. It's not too much of a deep V, but it's enough for me to feel feminine with, what is this called, your decollete? <laughs> it leaves a good moment for like a very dainty necklace, which I always love with a nice chunky knit cardigan or sweater that juxtaposition. Yep, I love this one. It's not fall without a pullover sweater. This is the Lily pullover sweater in antique white. The details, mm, the details, look. Do you see this little pattern along the stitch? Oh, I love it. It makes it look like so intentional and quality. And this is just the perfect pullover for many reasons. Like I think that this would be adorable with a collared shirt sticking out of it or more relaxed with some layered necklaces on top of it. Also love the fact that the seam at the bottom is a little bit longer in the back. It's the very subtle things that make something feel special and really stand out, and that's what they do really well. Let's try it on. This is such a good classic staple. I absolutely adore the way that this fits. This is what I always do with my sweaters, is I don't even necessarily tuck them, I just kind of do this and let it fall. And this is how that looks when I'm styling it the Mikkel way. But otherwise, here is what this looks like, completely untucked. As you can see, it has the super fun, slightly longer line seam in the back that we pointed out. And I like how there's a little bit of a slit along the side. I am picky about knits if they feel at all scratchy. And these absolutely do not. I feel like I've been looking out lately with finding knits that are actually so soft against the skin. And this is 100% soft against the skin. Zero complaints about comfort here. And here's what that detail looks like that I fell in love with earlier. I think it's perfect in this kind of antique creamy white. Mm. Chef's kiss. I had to get a fall color tee in my color. You guys know how much I love these like warm autumny colors. This is one of the fan favorites. This is the May drapey tee. It just has a really nice feminine drape to it. The perfect tee to wear down to French tuck, to just kind of style however you want. And the material has such good stretch to it. Like, can you see that? Look at that bounce. Look at that. Ah, it's like the most comfortable. <laughs> I fully believe good basics are the building blocks for good wardrobes and outfits. And if you just find a couple that are really comfortable and really flattering, then it makes making an outfit so much easier because you have the basics covered, you know? And that's exactly what this is. I love a more drapey, relaxed tee because it is so versatile. So this is what this looks like, just relaxed, draped. I love that it doesn't cling on anything, you know? It's a very flattering drape. And then, as always, this is how it looks, kind of fringe tucked into some high-waisted jeans. This just says, like, girl next door, you know? Like, she's so effortless, but somehow so put together at the same time. <laughs> and that's how this feels, too. It just feels absolutely effortless. I wish I could, I wish you could breach through the screen and feel this material. It's special. It's definitely special. So this sweater comes in a few colors. There's a super cute striped one on their website too. This is the Rose Relaxed sweater. I forgot to mention this earlier, but all the sweaters are 100% organic cotton, which is the best. <laughs> And this is like a more relaxed long line sweater. They style it actually with like a satin skirt and a belt in some photos. And it's just the most adorable, sophisticated fit ever. But also can go with denim, can go with leggings. You can wear this as relaxed or dressed up as you want. And I love the kind of mock neck neckline on this one. I'm really excited to try it on. Oh, yes sirree. Give me a mock neck sweater and I will be happy for all of fall and winter. I just, oh, I love it. And it also, if it's a cold day, you don't need a scarf. Your neck is warm, you know what I mean? But it's not a full turtleneck to where you feel suffocated. So this has a little bit of a longer line. This is what this looks like untucked, which yet again, versatility, gotta love it. The sleeves on this one are a little bit shorter than the other sleeves, which I think is super fun because it gives you an opportunity to maybe wear a watch or a couple bracelets and layer that up and kind of just have one of these moments, you know? <laughs> and here's what this looks like, kind of French tucked. 
I think that this is such a good staple. Absolutely something that you could wear for years. This is not gonna go out of style anytime soon. So you can definitely classify this as an investment piece. And the knit on this, is so nice it is so nice okay now we're kind of in that transition category from sweaters and tops to like dresses and jumpsuits and there's this one cardigan i want to show you i got it in two colors that could fall under either of those categories for me probably more sweaters and tops because i like to wear long dusted cardigans open but this is the elizabeth rib I cannot explain the feeling of this to you. I was like, is this cashmere? Like it feels so soft, very cashmere like, but this is a long line duster cardigan that you can wear buttoned up like a dress. Um, I think it would be really cute belted or you can wear it open like a long line cardigan, which is definitely how I would wear it. This color is camel, which, I love colors like this, like muted warm colors, but I got it in another one too. So let's try on this one and I'll show you another colorway option for it. Okay, let me start by saying all of the knits are soft. All of the knits are like incredibly soft, but this is like a league of its own. I've never felt anything like this before. I might even say it's softer than cashmere, though it has a cashmere kind of feel, but I love this. I just really love long line cardigan dusters that you can pair with things. I'll show you a mirror shot so you can see the full length of this, but I just think it's absolutely adorable. You can even kind of do a couple buttons up top. So many different ways that you could wear this. And I'm in love with the way it feels. So I was just now checking on their website and this is made with the blend of fibers, like 50% recycled polyester, but I was laughing because under the description it says, you might even think it's cashmere. And I was like, yes, yes I did. <laughs> this is the other colorway. This is a heather gray, which is just like the perfect multitasker color, you know, pairs well with whites, pairs well with blacks, and it pairs well with any color in between. So love 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 this i'll show you how this looks on as well since you saw the last color as an open cardigan i figured i would show you this color how it looks like worn as a dress i grabbed this is my great grandma's vintage belt as a way to like cinch the waist and it is so freaking comfortable and it's all i can really say about it is how incredibly comfortable and soft this is but i think it makes for a very fun dress. Yet again, I'll show you a mirror shot so that you can see the length of it and everything, but it would be so cute with the boots. I'm gonna put on the boots with this mirror shot as well so that you can really see it. I love it, I truly do. Okay, I have been on the hunt for a denim jumpsuit for forever, and then when I saw that Abel has one, I maybe screamed, ask my mom. She's been trying to help me hunt for a denim jumpsuit because they are so in right now. And this one is called the Britney. Uh, I love how utilitarian it is. And it's a very soft denim. Doesn't feel too rigid. I love the cuffed sleeves. Very Rosie the Riveter vibes. I cannot wait to try it on and see if my denim jumpsuit dreams come true. So let's see how this fits. I finally have my denim jumpsuit and it is so comfortable and cute. I got a size small for reference and I'm five foot seven and I think that the length is great. I'll show you a mirror shot so that you can see that length. And I think it gives a nice little cinch to the waist without feeling too overly um, form fitted. So I feel very comfortable. I just, I'm so excited to finally have found a jumpsuit because I know it is very much the trend right now and easy because you don't have to plan anything you know we did sweaters now it's time for a sweater dress this one is called the grace and it's belted i think it looks very sleek very sophisticated um, and it has this belt that you can tie along your waist which i always love because you can always tie it as tight or as loose as you want it you know you can kind of customize it to your size love wrap dresses and tie waist dresses for those reasons and this is a great like midi length dress i'm excited to see how it looks on but can definitely picture this with those boots from earlier <gasps> like a full black sleek outfit let's see how it fits okay this one says va <laughs> this one is so fun i love this straight across neckline let me get closer I haven't seen anything that was really like this before, but I think it's really fun. And yet again, such a good opportunity for layering some necklaces. And then the tie waist makes this look so 
nicely fitted. Like you can make it your exact silhouette, which I think is great. The length, so good, right below the knee, perfect for boots or heels or whatever that might be, more of like a nighttime look. And I feel like it does a really good job of being flattering, but still modest and still a little bit sexy all at the same time. I don't know how it managed to pull that off, but it truly did. Okay, this is so fun. I'm gonna be transitioning into bottoms now and I'll try them on with a tank so you can fully see how they fit. But these are the Chelsea joggers. This color is Time. This is handmade in India and the feel of this it's like a very lightweight, silky, smooth material. This actually can be paired with the button down that I showed you earlier as a full set. So how about let's try this on with the um, tank and with the button down. But I just feel like these are gonna be so comfortable, so chic, would look super cute with those sneakers that we opened earlier as well. Let's see how they fit. I have it pointed down so that you can see these, but these, are a dream. I got these in a size small. Like I said, I'm normally a 25. They fit on my waist at like a mid rise. If you want a high rise, they would be a little bit loose. So I would size down, but the drawstring makes this have like a lot of sizing flexibility, but it's so lightweight and it just drapes really nicely over everything. The length is really good too. Not too long, not too short for my height. Yet again, always showing you a mirror shot picture. Love the way this looks, and let's try it with our button down as well. Here's the outfit. I love this. This is such a fun monochromatic look. Picture this with like some kind of strappy black kitten heels. Maybe your hair up a little more utilitarian. I think that, that would be so stinking cute. I really like the way that these look together, and I really like the way that they feel together because I feel like I could go to sleep in these a hundred percent. I am so excited to try these on because I love me a good high-waisted wide leg pant. These are the RT wide leg. They have a good rise. I think a size four has an 11 inch rise. And in fact, I did get this in a four and in a two so that we can see which one fits more correctly and I can kind of help guide you on sizing here for this one. But I love the pockets on the back and oh, it's just such, such a cute, Fit. So let's see how it fits and I'll tell you if you should size up or size down in this one. Here is how a size two of the wide leg crop pants fit me. I would say I would stick with this for my size. So if you're kind of in between sizes, I would say maybe size down, but otherwise true to size. And I feel like they're really flattering along the butt and I love the length of them. Super fun to wear with something more fitted on top and very flexible. I'm very surprised at how flexible these are. I feel like they would be a great option if you have a desk job and an office sitting at a chair all day, it would not get too uncomfortable. Let's try on a little bit of denim. This is the high rise super skinny um, in the Andrea wash. I got a 26. I'm normally a 25, sometimes size up, sometimes size down, but for skinny jeans, I normally size up. Um, just to give a little more room for error. But I think when it comes to fall and winter with layering, especially if you wear things like a long duster cardigan, you know, very relaxed long things, they tend to look best with a dark wash skinny. So perfect for layering. If you're creating your little fall capsule wardrobe, I would say that this is kind of up there with my must haves personally. So let's see how this one fits. Here are the high rise skinnies on me. These fit like a glove. So like I said, normally I'm 24, 25, 26, got these in a 26. So on the upper end of my, my usual size range. And I'm glad I did that because they're still pretty tight fitted, but I feel like I can move around in them really well. The length on me is just about like an ankle crop, not too long, not too short, which is great for my very average height. <laughs> and then the rise is, I would say maybe like the lower end of a high rise, which I know a lot of people prefer. So this comes a little bit below my belly button for reference. And I think that they're a great staple for sure. Last but not least, I told you you would end with a little category that's very comfy and we have a matching sweat set. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited for this. So this is the Cynthia Zip Front in Black. I have loved half zips. You guys know that I've loved half zips and half zips and like this kind of more sweatshirt material 
is something I don't have and I think would be so fun and cute and chic to wear. And I got matching black joggers. These are called the Louisa Sweatpant and they are just a very soft jogger that is gonna match the half zip so well. I say, let's fully bring back matching sweat sets. I know that they were huge in the early 2000s. Let's do it and let's do it in like a chic way, you know, like minimal, cute with those very cute sneakers, maybe some stacked earrings or something and like a loose bun, <laughs> you get the whole picture. <laughs> so, um, I'm excited to try this on because I think I'm gonna wear this every single day, which is also why I ended in this so that I can stay in this. <laughs> this, my friends, is luxury. I am so glad I tried this on last because I'm not gonna take this off. <laughs> this is so flattering and cute. I got everything in a small. And the thing I like about these joggers is they're way more high-waisted than I was expecting, which is my personal favorite preference. Cause I, I don't know, it, I think it's just so flattering and cute and you can even wear it with like a sports bra around the house and you're not showing too much midriff, which I prefer. And this half zip is so comfortable and cute. Like it just feels luxurious. That's the best way I can explain it. Like I would be out doing errands and people would be like, is that an off duty celebrity? Look at her in her cute little matching track suit. And I'd be like, no, I'm just your everyday girl who has a really cute track suit. <laughs> I think that half zip ups are my favorite trend at this moment and I'm just here for it. I love it. I'm so comfortable. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching this video. Like I said, I have loved stepping into the fashion space and this is by far the most meaningful haul to me because um, I really feel like these clothing are doing good and that it's so transparent that you know where the materials came from and the people that make it and that it's helping to give women jobs and it's helping to create livable wages in the fashion industry. And I just, I'm in love. I'm truly in love. So thank you again to Abel for partnering with me on this video. Like I said, I'll have all the pieces linked down below. And don't forget Mikkel 20 for 20% off. Like I said, check out their jewelry, the best gifts for yourself or for your mom, your sister, your roommate, whoever. They're the greatest. So I'll have all that information in the description box down below. Thank you for watching this haul and supporting me as I get to work with brands like this. and really feel like I'm, like it's meaningful to me, you know? It means a lot. So I love y'all. I hope you have the best rest of your day and I will see you in a video very soon. Bye. So give me a sign. Give me a sign. Oh, give me a sign. Baby, give me a sign. Just give me one more. Talking to you, here we go again Staying up all night to see if you've been texting me Where do we go from here? I wanna go all